Hey gamers, what's good? Ah yes, the Polygon Prince of Pixels, the PlayStation 1. What do you say we play some PS1 games on the PSP? Alliteration aside, this video is about converting your .bin files into an eboot file which you can then play on your PlayStation Portable. Converting your PSP to a hybrid PlayStation by combining your PSP library with your PS1 library. First thing is first, you need to have some custom firmware that allows you to play homebrew or that is modded for emulators. If you're not sure, check out my video on how to mod your PSP without bricking it. You will also need some PS1 games, which you can find on the interwebs. Last, you will need a PSP USB connector, or if you're using a micro SD adapter, simply insert it directly into your PC. For this tutorial, I will be using Spyro and Wipeout 3. Step 1. Download the compressed PSX to PSP file included in the link below and extract it to your desktop. Open up the folder. Click on the .exe file here. When you start the application, it should already be on the theme mode. This application comes with two modes, but I'll tell you why in a minute it's better to select the theme mode over the classic mode. If for some reason it's not set to theme, simply click on options, click on theme, make sure use theme mode is selected, hit save, and simply restart the application. Moving on, just gonna minimize this here, and I have my two games, I'm gonna drag them and set them down right there. When you click on convert, there are several options here. First, select your .bin file. We will not be using the Q file. So when I select the three dots here, let's go ahead and, and start with Spyro the Dragon first. You'll notice that the Q file doesn't even appear. I'm gonna select Spyro and open. Next, I'm going to change both the game ID and save ID to the name of the game I am converting. Then I'm going to select my desktop as the output. Step three, click on the customize PBP. Let's go ahead and click on this to shrink that down. You notice there are several options here. Complete a search and select your images. I've selected an image for my icon, background, and boot screen. Just gonna grab these from over here. So for my icon image, I'm gonna go to my desktop. And I have my icon right here. For my background image, I'm gonna select background. And this is the one I picked for my background. And this is my boot warning screen. I'm gonna go ahead and pick one for that one as well. Now I'm gonna minimize this, and if you take a look, this is what it'll look like on your PSP. You'll see this. This will come up when the game is booting, and this will be the background. You can also add background music, information image, or icon information. I haven't tried those options yet, but if you have, leave me a comment below and let me know how it turns out. You don't have to select images for your game. You can actually just boot it up without any images at all. But I would select at least an icon. That way you'll have something here on your PSP screen. Step four, let's convert it. Go back to your convert menu, click convert. After a short wait, it should be done. Here it is on my desktop. Notice that the name is exactly what I named it. Otherwise, it'll look like this. I like my folders to reflect its content. If you select the other classic theme mode, you will not have the option to add your own game folder or save ID. Instead, it will appear as just a game ID and thus you will have to remember what the game ID is instead of just naming the folder to match the game. Click OK. Step five, plug in your PSP to your PC. Okay, now we can go ahead and let me close this off. Okay guys, this is my PSP. 
I'm going to click on my PSP folder. I'm going to click on game. Copy or cut your new folder into your game folder. This will take a minute to transfer into your PSP. Okay, once this is done, we're going to go ahead and disconnect and fire up the PSP and see what happens. Okay, let's disconnect our PSP and fire it up. Okay, here we go. We're going to start up the PSP. It's accessing the memory stick right now. And there is Spyro. You can see it's got my icon and the background. And when I hit X, it boots up to uh, the boot screen image that I had selected earlier. There it goes. As you can see, Spyro is fully loaded and working. When I press start, the option to save to a memory card will pop up. From here, you can select a memory card slot and save your progress just like you would for PlayStation 1. Next up, I'm going to show you the emulator settings. In order to access your emulator settings, you're going to use your home button. Once you bring that up, you can see that there's quick game, controller settings, memory card. Let's try other settings. And here's where we can adjust our screen. There's original, normal, zoom, and full screen and custom. I do like full screen, it takes advantage, takes full advantage of the PSP. And then I can hit, just hit my circle button. And now I'm ready to go. Okay, let's go ahead and move back to the PC for a second. Remember in the beginning of the video, I said I was converting two games, Wipeout 3D. Let's go ahead and open up our application again. Close that off. And I click on the convert menu and the drop down menu here has five options for five different dot bin files. Now, if we open up Wipeout 3, we'll notice that there's 14 tracks in here. But Henshi, what if the game I am converting has more than five tracks? Oh, funny you should ask. That is a problem. As you can see, there is a five track or five bin limit. There is a way to circumvent this. And here it is. Open up your folder and you'll see that I included another application called CD Image, CD Madge, CD Damage. Anyway, this is it right here. Let's go ahead and double click and open that up. And I'm gonna close this off. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do, and this isn't gonna take very long, we're gonna create a new folder. And let's just call this one Wipeout. I'm not gonna put the three, I'll just leave it as Wipeout. The next thing I'm going to do is going to click on File, Open, my desktop, I'm going to go to my original Wipeout. I have all my tracks, but this time I need my Q file, so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to click Open. And you'll notice that it drew all my 14 tracks into there for me. So from this point, I'm simply going to click on Save. Now we created a folder earlier that said Wipeout, here it is, it's empty. Notice it says Q, save, and this option pops up here. It also has keep broken files as well checked. If it's not, go ahead and check that. So I'm going to click OK. As you can see there, it says that it is saving right now. OK, so our save is complete. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Let's minimize this. This is the original wipeout with 14 tracks. Now if I highlight all of them, the tracks and the queue and everything, it says 576 megabytes. Let's close that off. This is the new one we just converted. We converted all 14 tracks into one track with a new queue file that will work for the new 14 con track conversion right here. And you'll also notice that together it's still 576 megabytes. So now I don't need this file. Here we go. Go back to your folder and reopen the program. 
This time around I have the 14 bin files or tracks merged into one, allowing the PSX2 to PSP to complete its job without any issues in the conversion process, plus skipping the 5 track or 5 bin limit. So let's go ahead and open our convert menu. Let's select wipeout and our new bin file. Select our output for desktop. I'm going to change my game ID and my save ID so that they both match. Minimize that. I'm going to select my icon image. My background image. And my boot warning label. Now I'm going to click convert. Okay, now that that's done, I can click OK. Here's my new wipeout. Now you can save that or delete it. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And let's plug in our PSP. So from here, I'm going to select PSP and my game file. And I'm just going to go ahead and cut and paste. All right, that's complete. Let's go ahead and jump on the PSP. All right, guys, so there you can see our game, yeah, Wipeout 3, with a nice icon in there. I'm going to hit X. There's my boot label. We can access our emulator options by pushing the, the PS button and scrolling through and taking a look at what's there. Don't forget to check out these awesome websites. I will leave a link in the description for both. The folder I included already contains the downloads needed to get started. Shout out to these sites for keeping us up to date with great applications like these. Now this is the version of the CD image application that I used, it really worked best for me. I didn't have any problems with it. All right, gamers, that's all I have for today. The PSP is truly a sick handheld. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button. It will make my day. Drop a comment below and don't forget. Thank you so much for your support and watching. Don't forget to turn on notifications and as always, happy gaming. Please hit like and this icon to subscribe.